Hey everyone, welcome to Sax Spy, where I uncover the best vintage and modern saxophone gear, Vinti or Minty. Today I'll be reviewing the Boston Sax Shop custom saxophone reeds for alto and tenor, as well as showing you my reed breaking process that I learned from Ron Fix. If you want to try these reeds for yourself, click the link in the description below and use code SAXSPY to save 10% on your order of any amount of soprano, alto, and tenor reeds. This code will only work for 24 hours after this video is posted, so make sure you take advantage of it. Now let's take a look at my reed process. I've tried many different reed breaking processes over the years, and this is the one that I've settled into because it's easy, cheap, and consistent. I actually learned this trick from another saxophonist, Ron Fix. Since I live in a dry climate, my main goal with the break-in process is to avoid reed warpage. This comes from when the reed is exposed to extreme changes from wet to dry or dry to wet. If we can slow down the soaking time and the drying time, the reed won't warp as much. So this is basically a waterproof phone case with a small sponge that has been soaked in yellow Listerine. There are a lot of products out on the market today that fulfill this, but for me this is the cheapest one and I get two cases out of it with the way that I do it. Ron suggested that I use yellow Listerine as it acts as a disinfectant and it also doesn't have the sugars that some of the other mouthwashes have. Some other people in other places will use tequila or vodka, but that's not really my thing. I'll leave links to all of the products used to make this reed kit down in the description below so you can pick it up if you like. So my entire process broken down is I'll take a reed out of the box, I'll put it into my new reed case with the humidity, I will leave it for about 24 hours, and then I'll play it a little bit at a time. And uh, here's an example of a fresh reed that I just took out of the box. I'm just playing it for maybe 5 or 10 seconds, putting it back in, and then visiting it another day. Now let's take a look at the Boston Sack Shop custom saxophone reeds. For now, these reeds come in boxes of 5, but soon they'll come in boxes of 10. They have a nice, sleek black design with silver lettering and logo. Inside the box, each reed comes in its own individual plastic case, and I like to keep these as my reed case will fit about 10 of these. The reeds themselves are unfiled, and on the back you can see the BSS logo as well as the number strength of the reed. These come in half sizes. One of the main things that Jack added to this reed was a thick tip, which for me seems to make the reed a little bit harder. So I would buy these in a half strength lower than you would normally buy in your jazz reeds. So for me, normally I'm on a three and a half tenor reed and I got these in a three. These reeds are Jack's own design and they are sourced and made in France from a really well-known company. For me, these reeds are really flexible and consistent. They played on all of the mouthpieces that I used on my Sios unboxing video, which were nine Sios mouthpieces, one modern mouthpiece, and two vintage mouthpieces. There have been a couple occasions where I've just left my reed on the mouthpiece overnight, just left the horn and totally forgot to take care of it. And in those cases, the reeds did warp a little bit, but I soaked them back up in my case. And then I used what's called the Reed Geek, which is like this uh, flat piece of metal. And I just scraped those backs and made them flat again. So that was a great tool for me to use. Let's take a listen to these reeds in action and see if that can help you gain some further insights. <laughs> So what is your reed breaking process? Like this video, comment below with your answer, and subscribe so that you can stay notified of all of my future videos. Click the link in the description below and use code SAXSPY to save 10% on your order of Boston Sax Shop reads. Have a Merry Christmas and keep an eye out for all things Vinti or Minty.